everyone, my name is Christina and I am the marketing specialist here at Golf Quest, but today I am your resident painter. Yes, today we are going to learn how to visually paint some really cool nautical um, items. Today we're actually going to do a crab. For this um, painting activity is a canvas any size you want. You'll need two different types of paint brushes. You'll need a flat brush and a pointed brush. You'll need a paper plate, a piece of chalk, some napkins, some water, and then your acrylic paints. Today I am using black, green, a really light blue, a red, kind of like a coral peachy color, and a gold. Okay, so your first step, what you want to do is take your two paint brushes and go ahead and drop them in your water. This will get them a little softened up and it'll make your paint spread way smoother. So while we're doing that, we're gonna take our little paper plate and we're gonna squeeze out just enough paint that you think that you might need. If you need more, always add more, but you wanna start with less first. So once you have all of your paint out, it should look something like this. It doesn't have to be that neat, but just so you have access to all of your paint. So next, we're gonna start with our flat brush. So we're gonna just dab it off some. And then what I'm gonna do for my background today, is I'm gonna mix this green, blue, and gold together. So I'm gonna start with the green and blue, and I'm just gonna kinda of go in between those two colors. Make sure you have enough paint on your brush. And then I'm just gonna make straight lines down my canvas. So now, you see we have our background. So I just kind of went in and I mixed the colors together. I went back through and I added some gold streaks. And you want to just kind of do um, long streaks to start with and then go back through and do like some really short streaks if you want to really define those colors. That's kind of what I did with the gold right here. So now, once you have your background completely done, um, if you have the time, you can just sit it to the side and let it dry. Me personally, I like to pull out my blow dryer and just hit it with the blow dryer low on warm or high on warm, but you never wanna go high on high because this is fabric, so it can warp. So we're just gonna blow dry it real quick and we'll be right back. All right guys, so my background is now dry. So the next thing that we're gonna do to start our craft is we're gonna get our chalk. And what you wanna do is you're gonna make kind of like a football shape so you're gonna start with an oval on the top, like rainbow, and then a bottom rainbow. So I'm gonna start with that little football shape. Then I'm gonna do the bottom legs first. So what I'm gonna do is kind of just do some small little circles, about five for one leg and five for the other leg, and I'm gonna kind of make them come in work and gradually make the circles larger as they come in work. So there are my bottom legs. Then I'm gonna go to my two side legs. And for that, I'm gonna kind of make two mini football on both sides. Now you're gonna do the same thing for two more sets of legs. So you're gonna do the same mini football concept where you're gonna do a big one and then a small one. So now, once you have four legs over here, four legs over here, you're gonna do the big claws at the top. So in order to do that, you're going to start with your same mini football. But then for the next section, you're going to do one side of your mini football. And you can kind of make it come all the way to the top. And then for your other side, you're, going to, you're not going to make it as long. So that's going to make that illusion of that crab claw. All right. So now we have our outline of our crab. Awesome. Okay, so now that we have our outline of our crab, we're gonna go back with our flat brush. I'm gonna take it back out of the water, dab it off a little, and then I'm gonna go in for my red paint. So first, I'm just gonna start painting the body of my crab. Okay, so I've painted the body. So now, and you want to make sure 
that you grab enough paint on your brush and you're just gonna paint in the inside of it. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my pointy brush out of the water, dab it off a little bit, and I'm gonna start painting my legs. Make sure you grab enough paint. And I'm gonna start with one of our little football legs over here. So I'm gonna start painting it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to make a little swoop at the bottom of it to create the end of the crab leg. So just a small little swoosh and I'm gonna kind of go up into the leg to create that point. So then it's gonna look like that. Okay guys, so as you see, I went ahead and went around with all of my legs and I kind of just made those little points for the ones that we didn't draw on with the chalk, chalk originally. And you wanna make sure that you always have enough paint on your brush because it's gonna look way smoother the more paint you add. So as you see, we went through, we did all that red. So now we're gonna just clean off that brush. And if your water gets a little dirty, you can always grab a second cup of water, which is why we have that one there. So remember, always dab it off. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and we're gonna add some detail to it to make it really pop. So I'm gonna go in with this coral color. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of just swoosh, not very heavy handed, on some of these legs and on the inside of the body just to kind of give it some detail. So you'll see I'm just kind of doing a light swooshing motion and it's okay if the colors mix right now. And you don't need a lot of paint at this point because you're just adding detail to your crab. All right, so this is how it looks once we add some detail to it. And then again, we're just gonna clean this brush off and I'm gonna go to my new water just cause that one looks really hot pink right now. So once that's cleaned off, gonna pat it dry and now for our last step we're gonna do some crab eyes so you're gonna take your black and at the very top by the claws you're gonna make two really big circles as big as you want and they can go above the crab they can be on the crab choice is yours okay and now your crab is done and because every artist wants people to know that it is their painting we're going to go in with whatever color you feel like i'm going to go back in with my black and then that bottom right corner or bottom left corner whichever you prefer just put your initials and the date if you don't want to paint it on, you can always grab a black marker or a blue marker or whatever color marker you want and do it in marker at the bottom. All right, and we're done, guys. All right, guys, if you enjoy learning how to paint a craft today and you want to paint your own, Gold Quest has an exciting opportunity. We can give you everything that you need to paint this crab right at home or any of our other nautical um, paintings that we're going to showcase later. And you'll get it all in an exciting grab bag. So what you'll get in that? You will get your own canvas. You'll get two paint brushes, a flat brush and a pointed brush. And you'll also get sample sizes of every color that you'll need. Now you can always mix these colors or add whatever other colors you want to make it look um, authentic to you. And then you'll get a piece of chalk just in case you need it. And you'll also get a little toy. So these grab bags will be ready for you guys to purchase when we open back up. Thanks for watching today.